So I drew back on the squirrel and this happened. And if you guys don't have a bow, this definitely is not normal. I'm just playing, I would never draw back on a squirrel. Relax with that message you're about to type, take your finger off the button. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Come on in, have a seat, relax and enjoy. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how I broke my bow. So if you guys have seen a couple of the clips I've posted, I've really gotten into archery, got a bow. Um, got this for pretty cheap, it was used, so I went ahead and bought it. Um, but since then, my finger has been really hurting pulling this back because it's like 65 pounds of weight on your finger. So I decided to get a release. I know a lot of you guys might know what, might not know what I'm talking about since a lot of you may not know about archery, but this is what a release is essentially. So, this is a release. You put it on your wrist, you attack the string or grab the string with this and then you could release it with this trigger right here. So this is what a release is. It puts all the pressure on your wrist, a much bigger joint area that can hold the pressure of a bow. That way your fingers don't get sore. And honestly, if you pull a big bow back with your fingers constantly without having some kind of a glove or a release, you could do nerve damage to your fingers. But anyways, I broke my bow because I got this release yesterday, I tried to use it, accidentally had my finger in front of the trigger when I was pulling back. And if you guys don't know, when you're pulling back like 65 pounds, you're really not focused on the couple ounces of pressure you're putting, pulling up, putting on the trigger, pulling on the trigger, putting on the trigger. Um, so I had my finger on the trigger, accidentally pressed it and the bow fired forward. Um, I didn't have an arrow in it, which means it was a dry fire. So all that 65 pounds of pressure went back over to the pulleys or the cams, causing my bow to pretty much implode. So this is what happened. A string is supposed to run across here. That string is no longer running across there and uh, it costs anywhere from 60 to 150 dollars to get your bow restrung because you have to have this compressed and ideally you want to put on a new string when this, something like this happens because your string is no longer reliable like something could have torn in it causing it to become very very dangerous so I bought this bow used for like 60 bucks and I wasn't about to spend from 60 to 150 dollars just to repair the string again but yeah Really sucks, man. Um, I like this bow. I like archery. I like going and shooting. I might get a different bow, uh, see what happens with that. But I might do a release or, or review of this item, kind of warning other people not to have your finger in front of the trigger. I mean, a lot of experienced archers or even intermediate archers know not to do this. Um, but it was my first time using a release, so I really wasn't aware that you could, you're not even supposed to have your finger in front of the trigger unless you're absolutely ready to fire because it is very, very dangerous. You can easily, without thinking, put a, a couple ounces of pressure on there and your arrow is out and away. Luckily, I was smart enough not to have my arrow on here. Uh, I was thinking about just drawing back and then slowly uh, bringing it back, um, essentially, but... Uh, I didn't have a chance to do that since it dry fired on its own. But anyways, guys, I am planning to get a new bow. Let me know if you guys want to see some archery content. I absolutely love archery. Uh, very relaxing, very soothing. Uh, every once in a while, I go out to the range, fire a couple of shots, uh, and it's quite interesting. So let me know if you guys want to see that. But anyways, hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I will see you guys in my next video.